Disney's Boardwalk Resort, the Boardwalk Deli, has just opened today. We're gonna check out the vegan options. There's a vegan breakfast and lunch options. We're gonna see them both and share them with you. Stay with us. Disney's Boardwalk Resort, a happening hub. There's construction going on all around us, behind us. Boardwalk Deli has just opened, so excuse any loud noises. I'm gonna try to speak up. But we have gotten the ciabatta breakfast sandwich, which is plant-based eggs, Florentine uh, cheese, in quotes, which appears to be pepper jack, tomato jam, and arugula, served with your choice of side. I chose an orange, thinking it was going to be like the little cuties, but I guess they would have said that if so. You could also get a banana or an apple as your side. So I'm gonna cut this in half, just so it's a little bit easier to manage here. Um, I also got, I asked if they had any plant-based milks for the coffee and they have almond and soy milk. So I did get an iced latte with almond milk and they have the Monin syrups. So I got hazelnut, so. Can't start my morning without coffee. So here's the inside. This is very exciting. So you've got just egg, Florentine, so it does have spinach in it. And then that tomato jam. That's what I thought was red peppers before, but it's tomato jam, arugula, and pepper jack cheese. So I'm gonna try it on camera and get lipstick everywhere. But that's what I have to do. Enjoy the sounds of construction while I chew. That's actually really good. Um, I spoke to someone on the way in who had just gotten this. And she didn't really care for it, but I really like it. The pepper jack gives it a little kick, uh, which you kind of need with something like this, uh, with the so much ciabatta bread. The eggs are really good, the just egg, and the tomato jam is sweet. So it's a really great combination, I think. I would definitely get this on my way to Epcot, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay, we are now sitting inside of Abracadabar because they're pressure washing and cutting tiles with water and all sorts of very loud things. So <laughs> we wanted to show you the muffalata sandwich, crunchy muffalata sandwich. It has the same vegan pepper jack, and I'm just gonna like peel this up so you can see. And then these are all pickled vegetables underneath, which come from Chef's Garden in Huron, Ohio where they have created their farm to um, be curated to chefs based on what they need to cook with. So it's really a cool story. And uh, I love that we're using that sustainable farm produce. And this is on focaccia, which they make in-house as well. You get a couple of options for your side item, one of which is the tomato basil soup, which is vegan as is. I got a pickle on the side because I love pickles and I want to try those out, so I'll let you know how that is. I think we accidentally got two sandwiches, so I'm pretty sure you only get one. But uh, yeah, here's two for you. So I'm gonna try it in a second and let you know how it is. So I'm going to bite this. It looks like it's gonna be very messy. As I was holding it to take photos, it was like about to fall out, so. Um, this is very thick focaccia bread as well, so, and it's already getting a little soggy because it's pickled. Mm. It's actually really like refreshing. It's kind of like eating a salad on a sandwich. Um, yeah, I really enjoy that. I think it's going to be a great option for people. If you like pickled things, if you like um, vinegary things, it's very carrot heavy uh, and you can taste the pepper jack cheese, you get two pieces of pepper jack cheese, so it's really full of flavor and it does have that crunch from the carrots, so this is definitely a winner in my book. 
So here's a fun fact. We just found out after me tasting the tomato soup because it tasted really creamy. It is really creamy because there's heavy cream in it. So I just posted this on my story, so you may have already learned this, but um, when you mobile order or if you mobile order at the Boardwalk Deli and you click on plant-based and the sandwich is the only option, there's three sides that come up and one of them is the tomato basil soup. So that should not be the case. Like when you order at Satuli Canteen and you're doing the plant-based option, it only shows you the items that you can add that are vegan um, or plant-based. So just a word of warning, we are letting the chef know that right now. So hopefully somehow Disney will get the message and update that in the mobile ordering. But yeah, you can still get a pickle, you can get uh, coleslaw, or you can get potato chips. And the pickle is not available on the mobile order either, but if you're doing it in person, you should be able to get that. So there's your fun update. Okay, update number two. <laughs> this is a new way of me vlogging, mm -hmm. um, and I'm just, you know, gonna keep all this in here so you can learn what it's like to find out about mm -hmm. new things on the first day that they exist. But basically, this pickle is not an included side on the sandwich. So you can get this separately. It just says on the menu board, on the app, uh, your choice of side. So this is not one of your choices, even though it lists this as a side. But I got a pickle anyway, because I super love pickles. And it's very hard for me to find truly sour pickles. This is probably not going to be sour. This smells like a deli pickle, which, you know, it is. I'm not gonna take a bite on camera because I don't need that out there on the internet. Um, but it does smell like when you get, you know, a deli pickle. So that kind of, it smells mild. So I'm still excited to eat it. I love all pickles except um, sweet ones. So anyway, don't get the tomato soup. Pickle is not included. Everything else I said is accurate. You're good to go. Opening day, you know, finding out new things and the way things work, so. There you go. <laughs> so to wrap up what we experienced today, Boardwalk Deli is now open. It's where the Boardwalk Bakery used to be at Disney's Boardwalk Resort. You can get the breakfast ciabatta sandwich from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can mobile order it. If you need to do gluten-free options, the only thing they have is the Udi's uh, white toast or an Udi's bagel. Those do have eggs in them, so if you are vegan, and gluten-free, there is unfortunately no option for you there. Uh, the breakfast sandwich, though, was amazing. I would go out of my way to get this. I would definitely get this if I was staying here and heading to Epcot. There aren't that many quick service breakfast options at all in this area, so it's a great addition. Uh, and then for the lunch and dinner, they have the crispy, crunchy, <laughs> crunchy muffalata sandwich which I loved as well it reminds me of something from my childhood I cannot place it if it reminds you of something when you taste it let me know in the comments um, but basically that has the same pepper jack cheese it's got pickled um, carrots and other vegetables in there and then it has an olive tapenade I personally do not like olives and I wasn't bothered by it at all it was like a great little flavor addition there um, the bread for both of them, they make in-house, the focaccia and the ciabatta on the breakfast sandwich. Really great quality bread. Um, we had some opening day issues as far as what sides are included and not included. And the tomato basil soup is not vegan, so do not get that as your side if you are vegan. You can get potato chips, you can get um, the coleslaw, which is vegan as is, and that's it. Um, you can get a side of a pickle if you want to add that later. And the pickle did have a little bit of a kick to it, even though it was the deli kind. So overall, I absolutely enjoy these. These are great options. This, I would, if I was staying at Yacht or Beach and wanted to come over and get a quick sandwich uh, late at night, they're open till 10 p.m. So I would definitely make the trek around Crescent Lake and come and get this. So a great addition. And yeah, make sure you check out our Instagram account at Vegan Disney Food. We covered the new uh, additions today that were added for Epcot Flower Food and <laughs> Food and Wine Festival. So many festivals to keep track of. So the tofu pho and the chili mac and cheese. So make sure you check that out. I'm gonna have reels up for those new additions as well. And of course, head to vegandisneyfood.com for our guides, complete guides, completely free to you of all the vegan options in all the Disney parks, resorts, Disney Springs, and water parks. So thanks so much for watching Vegan Disney Food, your plant-based guide to the magic.